Hey guys, I wanted to just do this quick video to show how the, the switch panel works, show that every, every switch on it is actually working and um, it's good to go. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you can see, I'm trying out the, the master switches. As I push the switch, notice that it, it clicks on on the screen. The monitor comes on, the PFD comes on. Switch on the avionics. MFD is on now. And just move over to test some of the light switches. Have the strobe light and the beacon. Try the taxi light. The center position is off position and the top position is the landing light. So it's all incorporated in one switch. Try the navigation lights and the pedo heat. The fuel pump also works. Um, the panel lights also work. I didn't show those, but all the switches work there. I'm just gonna show that the, the propeller feather works. The engine mixture works. And if I um, go ahead and zoom out a little bit and just show you that, uh, turning the, the start key over to the, the start position, I had a little freeze when that happened, but it's okay. So that starts up. Um, I just realized that I, this is a voiceover video. <laughs> I realized that I didn't turn the start key back to the, the both position, so it keeps clicking. Um, move over to the to the flaps. Notice that the flaps. This is also a the switch that I'm using for the flaps is a, um, anyway. Notice that the flaps go down and the flaps the flaps come back up with ease. It's a rocker switch. The switch that I'm using for for the flaps is a rocker switch, and and that works really great because it goes back to the center position once I click the the flaps. I'm gonna push the button for the for the altitude. Notice that the altitude changes. It goes up, it goes down. When I push the button for the vertical speed, that also changes. That goes up and down. The heading indicator. The heading bug also goes up and down. The rotator switch, the rotator knob works great for every one of them. It rotates in increments. It's a digital knob. And, and if I um, pull the, the engine mixture all the way out, the engine also you know loses fuel, so it starts stopping. Turn the, the key switch over to the off position and it will come to a complete stop and i just go ahead and turn all the switches off to show that they work now each switch has a light an led behind it so when it switches in the on position the led is on when the switch is in the off position led is off um, i didn't show the landing gear in this first portion because i'm using a cessna 182 but um i'm going to switch over to the Coronado Ovation to just do a quick flight so you can see uh, the landing gears actually work in the flight. So there we are in the Ovation. Just trying to get everything set up real quick. Um, go ahead and make sure the flaps are down. We're good to go, ready for takeoff. So as you can see right here, I'm trying to get a good view from underneath the, the aircraft. So you can see that when I um, click the switch for the landing gear, landing gear goes up. The lights, if you notice, the lights are off now on the box. Uh, my hand was in the way, so you couldn't really see it when I click it back down. But when I click it down again, 
for landing gears to go down, landing gears come back down. And just to kind of demonstrate from the inside of the cockpit, I just, you know, move to the inside of the cockpit so you can see the landing gear um, switch inside of the cockpit, you know, responding to the movement of the switch also. I zoom in real quick. And notice that the, the, it goes up. And that's about it, guys. I just wanted to do a quick video. You guys can see that everything works. Um, once I make the new box, I'm going to add some more features, possibly, and uh, do an extensive video on how I created everything. This is just the prototype. I just wanted to try it out to see if it actually works, and it does work. It's, it's great. So thanks for watching, and I'll um, see you in the future video.